so before we work with data transform i'll show you now one of the business use case so this is where you are here i have a section so where in which in this section i have address details billing address and then shipping address and there is a checkbox where in which i should be able to select or deselect this particular checkbox the second one is read only second section first one is editable i'll go ahead and run this now and execute it see once i execute this one here it is allowing me to enter the address details okay i am going to, something you can enter it doesn't matter what you are entering here functionality is important so i have entered address details address line 1 this is billing address details select this check box if billing address is and shipping address both are same i am going to select this once i select this what happened the data has been copied from billing address to shipping address and everything has become read only so now i think that okay i wanted to give a different shipping address after i select this is okay but now i am just considering to give a new shipping address okay i am going to uncheck this now it has wiped out the data that i have got previously and it is it has come to editable mode allowing me to enter a new shipping address this is the requirement we are going to work on now so this is the regular functionality that you see in many of the applications so where in which you can copy the data or wipe out the data based on your one of the control so now here billing address and shipping address i have i am taking where in which i am going to enter the billing address and i am going to select the check box once i select the check box i am going to copy the data from billing address into shipping address okay so once you uncheck the check box it is been wiped out and everything has come to editable mode clear so this is the requirement we need to work on how did i implement this requirement i'll show you okay now here you go ahead this is one separate section address line 1 address line 2 here you have it is a separate section called billing address section i'll open this section now and if you go with this one second one this is a separate section called shipping address section billing address section shipping address section okay and here you have check box property in the parent section these two sections are integrated into parent section along with the check box parent section name is address details sec so if you go to your billing address section you have address line 1 open this click on this address line 1 this is been connected to a property called address line 1 which is in the page billing address through the page i am accessing same if you go to shipping address so all the properties in billing address section are been read from billing address page and shipping address if you go ahead all the properties are been read from same property shipping address page for this to do i have created one class called address class separately in the address class i have properties address line 1 2 state city zip code now coming back to work class i have created two page properties for the same class two pages one is billing address another one is shipping address and check box property i have created within the same class now on click of the check box you enter the address on click of the check box data should be copied from billing address page to shipping address page so for that what i am doing on click of the check box i am going to actions on click refresh the section so here i am going to use a data transform okay data transform i am going to use address copy data transform open this data transform when you open this data transform address copy this is how a data transform looks like 
now see what did i do here this operation is equal to what type of operation what type of method in activity property set operation see if you take a data transform data transform you can add the steps hang on see in this you have set set means property set remove means you are going to remove a property out of a page update page here you can see update page means you can update one page data with the values from another page by mentioning the individual properties it's not page copy page copy means entire page will be copy pasted into another page it's not like that you can choose individual pages here individual properties here of the page only those suppose this page i want to update with another page this page has 1000 properties i want only specific 10 properties if you do page copy what will happen is 1000 properties will be copied to target page source uh, target page from the source but here update page page 1 with values from page 2 specific properties you can update take only few properties so you can do update page this is also property set okay and now apply data transform means you can call one data transform from another data transform so suppose you have created some functionality in data transform that you can call in another data transform and here you go leave about sort and comment when you can call a when condition appropriately condition is true go inside otherwise you can come to otherwise part otherwise when is there means if else if else if else if else if so on you can build like else something like that and now append to means when you are looping through page list to page list append to if you do pages from the page list target page list will be copied to source page list appended okay this functionality will work on using activity somehow uh, data transform also later okay in other, another business requirements i'll tell you all these five options later okay so this is about basically data transform even though you do simple set or update page or append to append and map to all these is like set means property value will set single property single property update page means page to page multiple properties you will set append to append and map to means page list to page list you will set you take a property you take a page you take a page list everything is a property ultimately ultimately whether you are doing it for a single property or a page or a page list it is ultimately a property set operation that you are going to perform using a data transform so now what is the purpose of data transform other than property set anything you can do in data transform do you see anything else obj open obj browse obj save something like that you don't see that okay so now this particular data transform you are going to use to perform a property set operation that is from a single property to single property or page properties to page properties or it can be a page list to page list ultimately a data transform is used to perform a property set operation this is clear data transform is used to property set we have an activity property set method you can do single property single property you can do page page specific properties to specific properties you can do page list specific list of pages to or entire page list to page list also you can do we have the same functionality available in activities you can call when rules this and all but still why data transform is available what is the purpose we have data transform in place when we can do everything that you do in a data transform can be done using activity property set method then why still we have data transforms introduced for the same purpose we will understand that after we complete the scenario that is the question we need to get clarification about so a data transform is a rule under data model category using which you can set a single property to single property page properties to page properties page list to page list properties whatever it is ultimately a data transform is used to perform property set operation that can be single to single page to page or page list to page ultimate everything that you do in a data transform can be done using activity property set method okay then why still we have a data transform we'll understand after we complete our business requirement now on click of the check box i am calling a data transform and this data transform is performing the copying the data or wiping out the data 
from the shipping address page or copying to shipping address page based on the when condition. When condition is based on checkbox property. If the checkbox property is selected, means checkbox equal to true means that is selected. The checkbox property is selected, data transform will be executed and this particular step will be executed. If checkbox is not selected, this will be executed to wipe out the data from the shipping address. This is what the business requirement implementation that we need to go ahead and do work on now. So we're going to work on data transform. So and we're going to implement a requirement to have billing and shipping address and a checkbox property. Enter the billing address and select the checkbox. Data should be copied to shipping address from billing address. If you uncheck the check and it should become read only. If you uncheck the checkbox, data should be wiped out and everything should come to editable mode allowing the user to enter the new shipping address data clear food adding data transform notes you take it from the website data transform i'll give you only one or two points for the data it can be created under data model category It can be created under data model category used to perform first one used to write down assign default values to properties in brackets you write down by using py default data transform this one i'll tell you tomorrow we'll discuss this predefined data transform that is by using odb py default data transform second one second one what is second one to assign single property to assign values to assign again here single property to single property and then page to page what else page list to page list this channel you can perform right down ultimately data transform is used to perform assignment operation see we will use this in connectors and all to parse the data oh, sorry to just go ahead and once we get the response from the services we can transform the data into clipboard format that and all we'll be discussing whenever we are working with connectors and all not now that's why I did not mention that point here that will practically work whenever we are working on comments so like that right now it can be called from control second one data transform by using apply data transform third one activity from activity also will call by using the method what is that property sorry by using the method apply data transform by using the method apply data transform you can call a data transform so other than this you can call this from data pages correct Database also you can call it data transform. There are few other things, okay, etc. We'll see going forward. Whenever it is required, we'll be using it. Done, completed. 
so let's go ahead now and proceed forward to work on the business requirement write down the requirement write down introduce a new screen into our existing new assignment introduce a new assignment into our existing flow introduce a new assignment into our existing flow introduce a new assignment into our existing flow to capture billing and shipping address details to capture billing and shipping address details okay write down add a checkbox control next point add a checkbox control to the screen add a checkbox control to the screen full stop next point when the checkbox is selected when the checkbox is selected copy billing address to shipping address when the checkbox is selected copy billing address to shipping address and shipping address should be read should become read only and shipping address should become read only and shipping address should become read only next point when we uncheck when we uncheck shipping address should be editable comma data should be wiped out shipping address should be editable comma data should be wiped out allowing the users to enter a new address allowing the users to enter a new shipping address so write down implementation we will go ahead and work on implementation now admin at thread tata right write down first step create a data class address details you know how to create it right create a data class address details long back we have done create a data class address details you write down only the name of the class address create a data class address this is the name of the class only write down name of the class you write down a point create a data class address options and all you know what to choose already completed name of the class tata tata vehicle data address done create and open here and these options you already know you can tell me what are the options i'll enter some information doesn't matter create a data class address this is this is completed data class address is completed so let's go ahead now and continue creating properties create properties in address class so right click on address class and choose create properties right click on address class choose create properties at a time we will create multiple properties now right click on address class and choose create properties okay so i'm going to choose this now look at here like how you enter the properties in case when you create a table same way so i am taking everything text property for now okay just an example okay i am not taking drop downs that and all i will take only text properties everything address line 1 note down quickly address line 1 address line 2 
स्टेट यू कैन मेक ए स्टेट ड्रॉप डाउन एंड चूज अकॉर्डिंगली सिटीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड यू कैन रीयूज दो बट नाउ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू ऑल दो थिंग्स जिप कोड I will leave it. This one also I leave simply. Okay, it doesn't matter about the properties for now. See, I created address related properties in the address class. Those are address line one, address line two. You need to write down only the names of the properties. That is enough. State, city, zip code. You can create whatever the properties you want. Okay, write down. Create page properties in work class. Write down next. Create page properties in work class. create page properties in work class property you know how to create it right we have done so far and page property name you write on billing address create and open here you go and property type is what single page what is the class Save this. Okay. Now to create shipping address, you save as this property. Okay. Billing address. Note down this. done save as this to create shipping address property save as this to create shipping address property billing address i saved as and creating shipping address property and then check in back save as this to create shipping address property so now i have two page properties here you can see save as this to create shipping address property one property here is billing address i have all the address properties another property that i have is shipping address where in which i have all the properties now we'll go with design of the screen create sections write down create sections we'll create separate separate sections write down create oh checkbox property we need to create it okay we'll create checkbox property then what is the property name for checkbox we'll give okay create a checkbox property is bill ship address same something like this anyway is bill ship address same you can use otp checkbox properties as well but we will see that and all we will do later otp concepts okay is bill ship address same here you go property type is true false for a check box save this okay we will complete when rule also when rule also will create and keep it aside check box property i have created is bill ship address same here you go ahead and create a when rule now create a when rule for this checkbox property bill ship address same this is the when rule name i am giving bill ship address same you can give any name it's up to you but make it something meaningful create and open create and open so here you go ahead when you can go ahead and double click to add a condition okay 
so what is the condition that i am going to add you can also do the other way you can go to advanced here also you can add the logic multiple properties you have you can add this is also one way is will ship at the same equal to true you can do from here or uh, you can do it from here okay you can add more properties here icon plus icon add more properties give the label c a b c d write the logic a and b or c something like that okay we will do that in another business requirement advanced concepts save this is bill ship at the same equal to true this is the one condition for that property i am creating a positive condition so now we will create sections write down create sections create sections so here you go ahead and you are you need to create sections what sections you need to create now we will create separate separate sections billing address one section shipping address one section suppose in future if i want to reuse only shipping address somewhere to display purpose or something i can use it billing address only i want to display somewhere allowing user to change the billing address that time i can go ahead and do it okay so like that i am creating separate separate sections for billing and shipping address right on create billing address section create user interface section section name is what billing address scc billing address section so we need five text inputs right take five text inputs you know how to map the properties and all already okay for text input one i have taken copy the same and paste here four five each one map to billing address page properties each one write down each one map to billing address page properties so far whatever we are doing everything we have done before all this creating page properties assigning page properties uh, ma mapping the page properties to the controls this and all is regular work that we have done many times so far okay you can align, align, align it properly i am going to make it like stacked with default labels left see you can put a, you can go ahead and add another layout okay this is the, just alignment another layout layout in layer layout you can drag and drop and the top layout if you go, if you are going to give the layout format inside will be adjusted like this okay this is up to you how you want to proceed see this one itself layout 1.1 itself i cannot make it something look like this okay so the layout i have aligned with stacked with labels left this layout i have taken to another layout the parent layout i have done the parent layout i have i have given something like double so if you add one more layout here that will come right to this layout like this you can make it triple one more layout you can put this is the alignment practice okay that you can do on your own so whether you do it or not it doesn't matter this is billing address section okay i am going to give a label to this later i'll give not here so copy paste this save as this to create shipping address section write down save as this and create shipping address section save as this and give the name shipping address section now what changes we need to make mapping now change the mappings to shipping address page change the mappings to shipping address page so we have now two sections one is billing address section another one is shipping address section
done my mapping has been completed okay we will create parent section later so we will create a data transform now to copy from billing address page to shipping address page okay create a data transform create a data transform create a data transform to copy from billing address page to shipping address page to copy from billing address page to shipping address page okay we will go ahead and create a data transform now under which category will be creating for the first time you can note down create data model data transform data transform and here you go and give the name of the data transform address copy DTF address copy data transform create a node page and class nothing is required let's go ahead look at here once hang on look at here on the screen first I am going to take when condition here I am going to choose the condition rule when bill ship address both are same I am going to update page update page what page I want to update I want to update shipping address page with values from what billing address page where in which I am going to set the property value set dot if you do address line 1 here dot address line 1 this means that set shipping address dot address line 1 with values from billing address dot address line 1 so 1 1.1 1 1.1.1 .1, 1 .1 .1. You need to add more steps at 1.1.1 level. Select this, click on plus icon to add the steps. Similarly, you need to add address line 2 and here address line 2. State, state, city, city, add one more, zip code. Note down this, make it fast. So you write down two lines something like that and put details for other problems. When update set set you write down. You write down those numbers 1, 1.1, 1.1.1. .1. Then you will understand you need to add inside. New it will add by default 1 inside. So let's go ahead now. 
when after unit add one more step parallel to one unit add okay you need to select the when step and click on plus icon to add here otherwise otherwise means you have one check at the checkbox okay when parallel to when you need to add otherwise set otherwise you can do update page shipping address with values from is not required because there is no target page directly we are updating alone shipping address dot address line one equal to blank means empty string here you need to give double quote double quote that is empty string that is not null that is empty string okay to so we'll go ahead and do it for all the properties note down when you uncheck the check box i am going to make sure to wipe out all the data address line one to state city zip code i need to add right save this data transfer Okay, done. So let's go ahead now and use this data transform in the address. Now write down create an address details section. Create an address details section. Okay, so now get these two other two sections here. You can drag and drop the sections directly, or you can go to layout section. You drag and drop from layout here. You map. Okay, like property control. You drag and drop, map it back to property. Same way. Okay, empty section and give it to billing address section. Otherwise, you can take it from here and drag and drop. Either of the ways would be fine. Next one is where is it? Checkbox. So I'll get the checkbox. And assign the checkbox with is billing shipping at the same. You can write down some text. Select if shipping and billing address are same. Okay. Note down this. Drag and drop billing address section checkbox. And what else? Drag and drop shipping address section. Done. This is what the. See, you can give better. You give headers here. Header title you can give. You can give a header, making sure that this is billing address. Here you can give a header to identify this as shipping address. Select this check. Okay, billing address, shipping address checkbox you are going to assign to is billing shipping address property.
completed you need to simply write in words get the billing address section get the shipping address in between drag and drop checkbox mapping it to is billing shipping address this and all we have done long many times we have done not only once so far okay completed right now call the data transform call the data transform on click of the checkbox call the data transform on click of the checkbox call the data transform on click of the checkbox okay look at here go to the cell properties of checkbox actions create an action set click up to this you know not done cell properties of checkbox event equal to click remaining navigations you already know cell properties of checkbox event equal to click event equal to click done click event action refresh action equal to refresh look at here whenever you refresh you can call a pre-processing activity or data transfer I am going to in this situation I am going to call click the down arrow you see data transform choose that action refresh data transform you call there okay done submit this one submit this and then save right now create a flow action for this section create a flow action to this section create a flow action address details FA. done create a flow action to this app created completed next open the existing flow flow action is completed you need to write only create a flow action for this section you should know what are all the steps that you have to do open the existing flow save as to new version save as to new version add this assignment at the end okay add this as a last assignment okay better i'll do this way assignment one assignment two is already there so one more assignment i'll add now after personal vehicle information i'm going to add address details this is address details so double click on this link here to call flow action address details flow action and I am giving the status here you know how to give the status right pending address info I will tell you how to dynamically choose the field values later for the status and all for now I am hard coding if you want you can draw this diagram customer information vehicle information address information you can run this flow now and test it okay customer information first one vehicle information and then address information run this flow and test to see address details functionality is working or not So okay, I'm not bothering about the first screen and second screens. I'll proceed forward. So here you go ahead. This is address information screen that we have created. Address line one. Zip code. Something I'm giving. So once I check this checkbox, it should go ahead and execute the data transform and copy the data. Copy it. 
uncheck read only so we need to implement that read only part only pending okay for read only what we need to do one more step you write down address detail section address detail section go to the cell properties of shipping address address detail section go to the cell properties of shipping address open address detail section go to the cell properties of shipping address go to presentation go to presentation presentation here you have edit options in the edit options you need to choose which one read only always or read only when rule read only when rule and the when rule is will ship when only when you select the checkbox it should become read only read only when rule submit save and check in submit save and check in now you can test it create a new case here So it has now copied the data and become read only when you uncheck it will wipe out and come to editable mode Okay, so this is about basics of data transform. We will work on py default data transform tomorrow That is over tb data transform. We can default the values using that. Okay, so we'll work on that tomorrow So this class is a bit faster when you compare to other classes so far This is a warning it will be like this only okay by this time everything you would have completed and practiced in this class we did not work on anything new except the data transform everything is what we have created done so far okay if you know those steps it is very easy to work on these things okay only data transform is the new concept introduced in this business scenario today other than this everything we have worked done so far that's why i did not give you time to look at the screen okay you can wind up for today. We will reuse many things going forward. That time you need to write down only steps in words, not in detail. Okay. So you can exit for today. 9 to 10. Sorry. 8 to 9 batch can exit out of the meeting.